While Tesla was laying off 14,000 employees and cutting prices just to stay in the game, BYD's CEO quietly dropped a bombshell in Xi'an, which could destroy the EV industry as we know it. Picture this, a hybrid engine that gives you over 2,100 kilometers on a single tank and charge, with the highest thermal efficiency of any mass-produced vehicle, 46.06%. This isn't just a new engine, it's a shot across the bow. Wang Chuanfu isn't just competing anymore, he's rewriting the rules, and if he's right, Tesla may have just blinked at the worst possible moment. But how exactly does this new engine threaten to destroy an industry that's supposed to be the future? Let's break it down. BYD's new engine, the engine that broke physics. The answer lies in what BYD calls their fifth-generation DM technology. But calling it an upgrade doesn't do it justice. This isn't version 5, it's a reset button, a complete reimagining of what a car engine is supposed to be. And it's exactly why the BYD CEO just revealed a new engine that could destroy the EV industry. On May 28, 2024, in the city of Xi'an, Wang Chuanfu walked onto a stage that looked like every other auto launch event. Two sleek new sedans rolled out, one called the Chin L DMI, the other the Seal 6 DMI. But this wasn't just about new paint jobs or infotainment screens, under the hood, something unheard of had happened. What Wang revealed was a hybrid powertrain with a thermal efficiency of 46.06%. If that sounds like just another stat, let's put it in perspective. Most combustion engines waste around 70% of their fuel as heat. Even Toyota's hybrids, the current gold standard, peak around 41%. So when BYD smashed that ceiling by over 5 percentage points, it didn't just set a new record, it rewrote what engineers thought was even possible in a production car. But here's what makes it truly dangerous to the EV industry. This isn't a return to old-school hybrids. BYD's 5th Gen DM is an electric-centric platform. So, here's the thing, the gasoline engine isn't even the main character anymore, it's actually the supporting act. Most of the driving, especially when you're in the city, is handled by the electric motor. The gas engine only kicks in when it can operate in what they like to call its high-efficiency zone. This means it's never burning fuel at stoplights, crawling through traffic, or doing those short trips where engines are typically the most wasteful. This isn't just clever design, folks, it's a surgical reinvention. To pull this off, BYD had to run over 240 combustion experiments just to get the fuel mixture right. They tested more than 100 different cooling methods. They pushed the compression ratio up from 15.5 to 16. Now that might sound like a tiny number bump, but in engine design, that's a tectonic shift. It meant redesigning the combustion chamber from scratch, rebalancing thermal loads, and rethinking how materials hold up under extreme stress. And the result? It doesn't just work in theory, it absolutely crushes in the real world. In June, during a live stream demo, BYD's head of branding and PR, Li Yunfei, drove one of the new DMI cars under regular conditions. The car clocked in at 2.54 liters per 100 kilometers. That's not marketing spin, folks. That's actually better than BYD's own advertised number of 2.9. For a bit of context, a Tesla Model 3 eats up 16 to 20 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. And unlike a Tesla, this thing doesn't care whether you've got a charger nearby or not. With a full fuel tank and battery charge, the car can travel a combined range of 2,100 kilometers. That's not a typo. That's not wishful thinking. That's nearly three times what most gasoline cars can do, and about five times the real-world range of most EVs on the road right now, and all of it without hunting for a fast charger in the middle of nowhere. Now think about what this actually means for drivers. Range anxiety, the number one fear holding people back from going electric, just disappears. Gone. You get smooth, silent electric driving for daily errands, the kind of instant torque EV lovers crave. But for long road trips, no planning routes around superchargers, no queues at busy charging stations, no guilt when the battery drops below 20% in the middle of nowhere. This is where BYD's engine stops being just clever tech and becomes a weapon. It solves everything EVs haven't figured out yet. It gives you range, power, reliability, and convenience without asking for lifestyle compromises. No EV brand, not even Tesla, has managed to hit all those targets in one go. Which is why this isn't just a challenge to the EV industry, it's a knockout punch in the making. And Wang Chuan Fu knows it. This was never about building one great hybrid, it was about breaking the illusion that fully electric was the only future worth chasing. He's not just trying to beat Tesla at its own game, he's building a new one altogether. And honestly ask yourself this, 
Think about your last long road trip. Would you rather pull over every 300 kilometers for a half hour charge, or just keep driving for 2100 without ever needing a plug? Because for most people, the answer isn't about brand loyalty. It's about freedom. And that's exactly what BYD just offered the world. But as wild as this engine is, it's not even BYD's boldest move, because hidden behind it is a battery technology that just survived tests no other manufacturer even dared to attempt. And what it endured changes everything. The blade battery revolution. While Tesla struggled with battery fires and safety recalls, BYD built something so absurdly safe that they now stab it with steel nails on stage live just to prove it won't explode. Because this isn't just another battery, this is BYD's blade battery, and it might just be the most underestimated weapon in their entire arsenal. At first glance it's easy to miss how radical this design actually is. While most EV makers stack cylindrical cells like soda cans or fold pouch cells like origami, BYD decided to flip the table entirely. Their cells are long, flat, and razor-thin, arranged edge-to-edge -edge like samurai blades inside the pack. Not a gimmick. A full-blown structural redesign, one that sacrifices nothing and gains everything. Now here's where things get wild. Most EV batteries, especially the ones using nickel, manganese, cobalt chemistry, have a problem. If the pack gets punctured, damaged, or overheats, it can hit 500 degrees Celsius and just erupt into flames. Tesla's had multiple high-profile fires. Nissan, GM, and Hyundai all have had their turn in the fire spotlight. For years, the ultimate nightmare for any electric vehicle owner has been the idea of a catastrophic battery fire. It's the kind of fear that's been stoked by viral videos and sensational headlines, creating a subconscious anxiety that lingers in the minds of potential buyers. The battery, in this narrative, is a ticking time bomb. Then BYD decided to confront that fear head-on, not with a slick marketing campaign, but with a brutal, visceral, and almost theatrical demonstration, the nail penetration test. Imagine the scene, a live audience, a fully charged battery cell and a hydraulic press driving a sharp steel nail directly through its heart. This isn't just a test, it's the single most brutal safety standard in the battery world, designed to simulate the worst-case scenario of an internal short circuit. For most batteries, it's an instant death sentence, a violent chain reaction leading to flames, toxic smoke, and a terrifying explosion. But when they drive that nail into BYD's blade battery, almost nothing happens. Seriously, the most dramatic result is that the battery warms up. We're talking a barely noticeable temperature rise of 30 to 60 degrees Celsius. That's the equivalent of holding a warm cup of coffee. No inferno, no billowing smoke, no deafening bang, just a quiet, undeniable display of resilience. So yes, the blade battery doesn't just pass the infamous test, it utterly humiliates it. But this moment is about so much more than acing a laboratory experiment, it's about flipping the entire script on consumer fear. While every viral Tesla fire inadvertently reinforces the ticking time bomb anxiety, BYD didn't just aim to address that concern, they wanted to delete it from the conversation entirely, they made safety a spectacular, undeniable headline. Yet, as groundbreaking as that safety is, it's merely the surface-level revolution. Peel back the layers, and you find the blade battery is quietly rewriting the very economics of electric mobility. The first chapter of this rewrite is energy density. BYD's engineers performed a form of electrochemical magic, managing to squeeze a staggering 50% more energy into the same physical space compared to traditional lithium-iron phosphate cells. This means more range without a monstrously bigger, heavier, and more expensive battery pack. And here's the masterstroke. They achieved this monumental leap without a gram of cobalt. Let that sink in. This isn't just an incremental improvement, it's a fundamental severing of the industry's most troublesome shackles. No more dependency on rare earth elements mined from conflict zones. No more ethically sketchy supply chains. No more playing commodity price roulette where the cost of your car is tied to unstable global markets. The promise is simple, powerful, and transformative. Batteries that are fundamentally safer, significantly denser, and radically cheaper to produce. This isn't just a new battery, it's the key to unlocking electric vehicles for the